water flows at the rate of 10 meters per minute from a cylindrical pipe 5 mm radius right or 5 mm radius how long would it take to fill a right circular conical vessel whose diameter at the top is 40 centimeters and the depth is 24 centimeters if you try and visualize it is like this you know let us assume there is a cylindrical pipe there is a cylindrical pipe okay what is the radius 5 mm is the radius right so r is equal to 5 mm here now water is flowing from this right water flows from this pipe into a conical vessel right water flows into a conical vessel right here the conical vessel which has got a diameter of 40 centimeters on the top right so here is a conical vessel you don't have to do this in the exam only for the sake of clarity i'm just doing it right so the diameter is 40 centimeters and the depth is 24 centimeters this depth is 24 centimeters so water is actually flowing into this conical vessel right at, <coughs> at the rate of 10 meters per minute now you know that uh, i mean in the last model of menstruation we have discussed that in these kind of cases the best concept to be used is that the volume remains constant right just understand that the volume is constant the volume of water that comes out of the cylindrical pipe should be equal to the volume of this conical vessel right but the point is here instead of considering that the rate of i mean flow is 10 meters per minute let us assume that the length of this pipe is 10 meters you're getting it let us assume that the length of this pipe is 10 meters so there's a 10 meter long pipe of 5 mm radius it has got some water it can fill it can fill this much of water in one minute right and there is a conical vessel of so and so dimensions so if it can fill so much of water this volume in one minute how much time will it take to fill this volume now there are two different volumes this is volume of cylinder this is volume of the cone right now this volume of cylinder can be filled in one minute so volume of cone can be filled in how many minutes so what is the volume of the cylinder let us convert everything to the common unit let's take everything in centimeters right the volume of the cylinder you know is pi r square h. so pi into r square 5 into 5 into uh, h h is nothing but the height here 10 right but the point is you know that these are in millimeters so how do you convert millimeters to centimeters divide by 10 5 by 10 this also 5 by 10 because one centimeter has got 10 mm right so divide by 10 and 10 meters right one meter has got 100 centimeters so multiply this by 100 this is centimeter cube now everything has been converted to centimeters right 5 mm is 5 by 10 centimeters 5 by 10 centimeters and 10 meters is 10 into 100 centimeters okay now what is the, this 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 much of volume can be filled in how many minutes one minute right now volume of the cone what is the volume of a cone 1 by 3 pi r square h so 1 by 3 into pi into r square what is r see the radius is for uh, diameter is 40 d equals to 40 implies the radius is 20 20 centimeters 20 into 20 pi r square h height is 24 here everything is in centimeters already so we don't have to convert anything centimeter cube in how many minutes is the question simplify and you'll get the answer all right so basically you have to divide uh, you know the required time will be equal to the volume of the cone divided by volume of cylinder yes or no i mean even if you cross multiply what do you get this into one divided by this so volume of the cone divided by volume of the cylinder right so 1 by 3 pi into 20 into 20 into 24 divided by pi into you should directly write this what i'm writing now that only has to be written you don't have to write this individual steps 5 by 10 into 10 into 100 simplify pi and pi gets cancelled 10 and 10 and this 100 gets cancelled 5 here goes 4 times this 5 goes 4 times this 3 here goes eight times so answer will be four into four 16 16 into eight 16 into eight is how much 128 128 by 10 12.8 so 12.8 minutes option one yes